Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing Coral Island. I actually did a short mini-series on this about a year or so ago, um, when it was in early access. Just a quick look at what the game offered. It seemed like a very, uh, very good example of, uh, you know, a Stardew-like. It's probably got its uh, own genre by now. But the game went 1.0. It's full released... Uh, a couple of weeks ago now, and I've, I've been, since then I've been meaning to, to start up a series and, you know, see what the full uh, game has to offer. So let's dive in without further ado. New game. Uh, ba 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 bam. I think we'll be a male. Definitely not too buff. <laughs> I kind of want to just randomise it, to be honest. Uh, hairstyle. That's probably fairly close to me, actually. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind about any of this, to be honest. Probably, ooh, yeah, that's, pro that's probably a bit close to me. Uh, what are we doing? Whoa, a bit wide. Nothing too wide and staring. That's probably all right. Uh, color-wise, uh. Blue. Still quite dark, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Brightness. Okay, yeah, so we go blue. Like a little bit brighter than that. There we go. Oh, beard. Gotta have a beard. Yeah. We're gonna have a flowery beard. <laughs> Probably not. Um, what's the difference between those two? Oh, yeah, maybe a bit more like that. Uh, clothing. Yeah, there we go for a bit more of a blue motif, why not? Bio. Boring Dad. Uh, I'll be Mr. Farm name. Boring. Oop. Boring typing, bad. Boring farm. Uh, we'll watch the intro, but I'll... I haven't played for so long, but I'll disable the tutorials because... I mean, I've played so much Stardew, I'm sure it's fairly similar to that. And I've played this for a while. Um, yeah, yeah, let's go with this. Okay, is anything going to happen? You leave Pokyo to start a new life on Coral Island. What, what's uh, space? Maybe? Ah. Oh, the chicken boat, I remember that. Connor. I think I made him Australian the first time. He just he just had a bit of an Aussie vibe to me. I, I think we'll go the same route again. Hello, boring dad. Welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. It's been a long time, boring dad. Good to see you again. Can't remember the last time we had a visitor. <laughs> Trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Uh, it's weird. I feel like I've done this before, maybe in another life. Oh, maybe you're remembering your trip from back when you were a kid. I still remember your parents. Good folks. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. Alright, let's do it. I don't know who we're supposed to have inherited a farm from this time, but... All right, the floors are done. Oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this the new farmer? That's right. Boring Dad, this is Dinder and Joko. They're the local carpenters. Nice to meet you, Boring Dad. Hello, Boring Dad. Always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Indeed, Boring Dad. This will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but... Ahem. Excuse me, Mayor Connor. Did you just say we did a poor job here? Uh, 
Huh? Oh no, I mean, uh... They're pulling your leg. Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we could only patch up the roof so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten wood. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We place the complete instructions in your mailbox. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care, boring dad, and good luck. You're all very friendly. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. Womp womp. <laughs> yeah, dot 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 indeed. It's a mess. Oh, what's that? A bit of a tremor? Oh, it's just the fact that there is it's a huge size. Yeah. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell in here in the shipping bin. Now I'll ship the content overnight to the appropriate stores in town, and you'll receive the funds the following day. Yeah, I'll be going now so you can get some rest. Ah, since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. You received a watering can, an axe, a scythe, and some random seeds, although I understand they're not random. Are they parsnips or something? Or is that Stargy? If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, mean sake. Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome home, boring dead. Is it our home or did we inherit it? I'm not exactly clear on that. Uh, Jay for details. What do we do? So, let's learn how to farm. Start by tilling the farm soil with a hoe, then use a seed bag on the tilled soil to grow crops. Water daily until ready to harvest. When ready, visit Sam's General Store in town for more seeds. Okie dokie. Let's go to bed. <laughs> wow, I can sort of stick my head beyond the planks in this window. Doesn't feel safe. I've got, I guess, what is a working fireplace. Need to repair your house first before I can start decorating. Okay. Oop. Let's go out. Uh, so we'll go look at the mailbox first. Boring Dad, to repair your house, we'll need you to gather some materials. Please collect 50 wood and 20 stone. After you collect everything, head to the carpenter store and create an order at the counter. Your house will be repaired on the same day. Okay. There we go. So we've got to plant and we've got to gather materials. So let's start off with... Uh, Pickaxe. Let's get going on these stones. So we got a... Where's my stamina bar? That's top left. Doesn't replenish as we can see. You got a health bar as well. Now this is all trash. So how do I... How do I get rid of that? Pickaxe? No. Hoe? No. Axe? No. Scythe? No. Do I just pick it up? What do I do here? Uh, oh, I did. I did pick it up. Was it scythe? Oh, it takes more than one swing. Okay, that's good. Unlike Stardew, the scythe actually costs uh, stamina to use. But we do get more than one square at a time. In fairness, that's not too bad. Now, I feel like the trash does have a use, so I'm not going to get rid of that just yet. I can't. I can't remember what it is, but I feel like we might have a use for it. I kind of want to clear a bit of land sort of around here to start with. Um, to get to get the seeds down, we want to do that today. We want to make sure they got a good amount of time to grow. Just fibre. I feel I feel like everything we 
quote, harvest has a use. So even these fibres and stuff, we'll, we'll store them. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I've got a storage chest at the moment. There we go. So we've got a... Uh... Can I pick you up? Where is my... Oh, my inventory's full. What was it full of? Is that all I can carry? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's, dig, let's dig a... A plot for ten seeds. And then we'll, uh, we'll pick that up. Go. It looks like radishes, turnips. Okay, you've got some neeps, as they say in Scotland. Uh, I thought it was ten. Did... Uh, oh, we've got a daisies. Oh, we... okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, okay, so that's going to be a bit weird now. I'll do. I'll do a couple of uh, two by two slots uh, spots as well. Got a treasure chest. New discovery: a coffer. Bring it to the blacksmith to unlock. Maybe valuables inside. Very nice. Not tremendously helpful clearing out my inventory, though. Okay, so we have a watering can. Looks to be full, so let's throw some down on these. We're about half energy at the moment, so... I'm not going to be able to do a lot in a day. Got a bit of cash, so we could go and buy more seeds. Um, so this is this is the selling chest. That's a shipping bin. Is this a storage place? No, I'm watering it now. Might as well fill that while I'm here. Uh, I don't know if I can. Oh, that's a dash. <laughs> I thought I was trying to jump up there. Uh, okay, I, uh, how do I make stuff? P, does that do anything? No, that's farm view. Okay, useful, but I kind of want to see if I can make something like a chest. Crafting, what about this? Makeshift chest, yeah. Okay, so with a bunch more wood, we can make a chest. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's gather some wood then. Um, we could, we're not going to get much from the fallen log, so let's, uh, let's actually take down a whole tree. Pushing our energy is going to take quite a lot of it to get this down. Uh, okay, we've got 11 now, so I need 20, don't I? So, I mean, we do have the candied tree seed, which will give us some energy back. One more. A couple more. Am I actually making a dent on this? Oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> it's obviously a more mature tree than the, the first one I knocked down. Oh, that was quite a lot from the stump. How many have we got now? Uh, we've got 33, so we should have enough. No, that's I press P again. I want I. Do I? No, tab. I? Tab? Yes, here we go. I don't know what the hotkey for the crafting is. So we can make a makeshift chest. Oh, we actually use the trash in this. That's interesting. We could make a path, a gate, a fence, a sign, stone path, and wood path. Okay. But we're going to make... <sighs> okay. Um, well, I'm going to have to drop something to make the, uh, make the chest, aren't I? So why don't we... I don't really want to dump it, but... Because it's glass. Glass feels like it might be quite useful. Tell you what, I think fibre is going to be fairly um, gettable. So I think we'll drop that. I'll go back into here because I shouldn't have closed it already. And then we'll make that. There. Then we're going to pop the pop the chest down uh, near, the, near the front of our, our house, I reckon. Somewhere like that. Now we'll start to store stuff in there. We'll put the... Well, we'll put stuff that we don't need immediately, like the sap, the scrap, the trash, the glass. Uh, probably the coal we're not going to need just yet. We're collecting the we're collecting the wood and stuff though, and I'm going to use the seeds to uh, get energy at some point. Uh, I might save up coffers until we've got a, a bunch of them. Take them all all rather than yeah, and take them all at once rather than one at a time. And I might pop the oak seed uh, in the in the chest. 
There we go. So if I pop the stone stuff in my backpack. There we go. Okay, so we can gather a bit more stone. If I swing and don't... Oh yeah, if I swing and don't make contact with anything, it still drains energy, which isn't great. So let's... um. Put one in there and just use it from here, maybe? Consume it. Yeah. Okay, I think what they give us 60 energy, that's not too bad. Uh, what's this? Something's stopping me. I think it's uh, leaves. Ooh, that's not what I want. Maybe try and just clear out this corner today. I can always have another candy tree seed. Why am I not picking these up? Is my inventory full? Or have I got to chop these? Oh, I have. Oh, maybe they maybe they were just on the ground anyway. I thought they came from the tree, but perhaps not. Come on, we're getting low on energy. Oh, can we get the stump? Okay, very low on energy, so let's um let's pop these back in there. So I would quite like to get this corner sorted out today. If at all possible. Got a geode. Uh that goes to the blacksmith as well. So I think we'll just get a bunch of stuff for the blacksmith, uh, and then go there with everything at once. I haven't even found the blacksmith yet. I haven't been to town yet. But maybe we'll do that after a bit of farming. Uh, I guess that's an axe. Ooh, let me axe you this. Uh, how are we doing? Not too bad. I kind of want to get rid of this tree though. It's kind of blocking my view of my uh, of my stuff I've planted. Might not have the energy for it unless I can eat an acorn. Oh. There we go. Sweet. Uh, do we still have? Oh, we only need we only need four stone. We can probably do that just with stuff lying around, can't we? So. That was coal. Oh. Start to feel tired. Yeah, I know, but I need one more stone. <laughs> so I'm starting to pass out. Okay, so oh. I think we uh, I think we deposit some stuff. And we'll take this stuff into town. I think just running around's not going to wear us out, so... But, hmm. I mean, it is 5pm, isn't it? But let's see, we could go a little bit in town. There might be like a bar or something that's open. We can uh, go and introduce ourselves to people. Oh, it's harvest a little flower. <laughs> Starlet Town. Okay. Remember, this is quite big and quite confusing compared to Stargy, so we'll have to learn our way round. Uh, I think eventually you can catch the butterflies and insects and stuff, but I haven't got the, the right thing yet. Who's this? Betty. How lovely to see a new face around here. You can call me Betty, dear. Hello, Betty. What about this strapping young boy? My name? Oh, my name's Oliver. Why? No reason. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ken? You're the new arrival, huh? Don't bother me and I won't bother you. Ah, sick air. Whatever that means. Not quite sure what that means. Um, so I'm, I'm going to guess that at almost 6pm that the... Uh, never rummage in their bin. What do we get? Compost? It's a posh way of saying poo. Right. It's got a little exclamation mark on that. What does that mean? Oh. I literally just missed him. Oh well. 
These guys, I guess they're just employees. They're just going home. They don't want to talk to me. This is like it could be a bar, though. Tavern. Uh, yeah, should be open. Oh, we've got a little kitty cat. Peanut. You want to be a cat and follow Peanut around all day? Do I? I don't know about that. What have we got in here? That's comfy. Macy. Oh, hello to you too. I'm Macy. Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. Tourist? Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. Oh, what did you expect? Uh... <laughs> I could eat the flower for a bit more energy. That... Doesn't look very nice. It's a failed dish. That'll hurt our energy and health if we have that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to spend all my money on a bit. Like, oh, I thought I had a decent amount of money, but it's, it's barely enough to buy a beer. It's an artisanal beer, but still. Can I just talk to this dude? If I can, maybe if I come around here. Talk. Um, I don't know. Maybe another Aussie. Wow, look who's finally here. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Hello, Frank. What we got here? Waiting for someone to start singing, eh? Well, I've never turned down a challenge. Test, test. One, two, three. Okay, maybe we didn't want to sing. Who's this dude? Oh, that's the carpenter, isn't it? Ah, uh, we've met him already. Charles. Well, hello to you too. You must be new here. Yes. Is there anyone upstairs? This is probably where he lives. This, is, this doesn't... Yeah, I was going to say, this doesn't look like part of the pub. Yeah, we can't just go wandering around people's rooms. And that's probably fair, isn't it? We go in his kitchen, though. Watch his TV. Right, well, it's, uh, it's getting for half seven, so we'll probably head home. The Hog, 19-something-7. Partial gift of Olivia Barnes. Okay. Have a quick look up here. Oh, we've got the town notice board. This is the shop, I think. Uh, there's an errand to do. Ling is looking for a cauliflower. Well, I can't grow those currently. Uh, these will be birthdays. And the, oh, that's good. It kind of reveals them as you introduce yourself to them. So I don't know who's on this day yet. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, did I already look at the calendar, didn't I? Okay, yeah, I did that up here. All right, well, who's this dude? Um. Oh, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. Okay, then. Vibing over there. Oh, we've got another kitty cat. Butter is a cute name for a cat. Oh, I wonder if Butter knows Peanut. I guess uh, together they could make something nice. Emily. Oh, the new neighbour. So, someone really was moving into town, huh? I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. That's right. And I warn you now, there are a lot of people in the town in this game. So beyond sort of the few main ones... I imagine I'm going to forget what most of them, what, how I voiced most of them, from meeting to meeting. Uh, but hopefully that's okay. But the things like the mayor, I remember the mayor. I could even remember the voice. I, I, he's a bit more gravelly in this uh, episode than in my uh, early access mini series. So I kind of remember the voice I gave him. So we'll remember. We'll try and remember some main ones. Uh, if I try and hoe this up, is this going to make me pass out? Wild seeds. I was hoping to get a four-leaf clover. That's what it looked like it was. Anyway, I think this is the town hall, I think. I don't know who this dude is. Jack. Just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. Your lot has plenty of space to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd like to get a few animals on the farm. Wait, was that talking about... Oh, who's this? Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? Ah, that's right, Pokio. I'm Theo. 
Athea. Cherry Blossom Festival, when's that happening? Oh, spring 10. So we're spring 1 at the moment, aren't we? Monday. And I've got 9 out of 450 energy left, so I probably need to get a move on home, because I keep wildly swinging at stuff and uh, using up energy. Millie. Yes, boring dad. I've been meaning to meet you. My name's Millie. It's so exciting to have people moving in. Great. Uh, if I can remember to get back. I th is it down here? Yes. Okay, good. But we'll, we'll explore the town bit by bit, because it is very large, and there's lots of stuff to do and see. Um, but we'll probably try and concentrate on getting the farm looking fairly decent. Uh, for the most part, to begin with. Uh, compost. I could chuck some compost on uh, on here. Can I put it in? Or is it literally... Oh, we, oh, we use it to craft fertilizer. Okay, well, tell you what, let's um, stick let's it in here for now. I keep the tulip on me. I'm, it's, a, it's a little bit of energy if I'm in, in need. Ooh, dare, I, dare I hoe a slot for the wild seeds? Go on, then. Three energy. Oh, we're about to pass out. And it's late. Hopefully we get to bed just in time. Go to bed. Year, day ended. Year one. Day one. Uh, no income. That sounds about right. It's like a, sounds like a, it's not raining at least. How are we doing? Have we got some seedlings and stuff? That's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's start off with a little bit of watering then. What I might do today after this is go to the general store and uh, buy some more. Maybe we'll do a little bit of in-town stuff today and then when we come back we'll use some energy. Uh, maybe getting rid of stuff in this, in this kind of patch. But let's see what's in the letterbox for now. New item alert. Introducing Basic Bag has a total of 20 compartments. That is a whole five extra compartments than Basic Tool Belts. Carry more, do more, worry less. Available now at Sam's General Store for 500 coins. Wow. Uh, cool. I mean, I've only got 300, so we'll, we'll build up to that. If I press... Oh, yeah, I was just saying, if I press M, do I have a map? And I do. Uh... Thing is, until I've been to places, I don't really know what they are. And it, so I know. Oh, wait, okay, so some of them I do. Recycling center. Vineyard. That looks like the blacksmith, doesn't it? Yeah. So where's. The, oh, I found the general store already, didn't I? It was. Um, yeah, it's just here. Pretty much just east of us, so we'll keep going. Oh, you're new. Hello. Suki. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you again. See me again? Okay. I think I've just got one of those faces. You're new as well. Erica. Hey you, is this our new neighbour? Making your way around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? I have actually. Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Uh... Uh, dude behind the bar? Yeah, friend of yours? Oh, he's my husband. You know what? You should stop by our house sometime. Frank will cook us dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Uh, okay, we've talked to that kid. So who's this? Is this Sam of Sam's shop fate? No, this is Emily. Oh, we, we met Emily already. Your grandparents' farm was neglected for a long time. You should have seen it. It wasn't a pretty sight. It's always the grandparents' farm, isn't it? Mayor Connor was going to turn it into a community garden before you moved in. Uh, oh, it's only 7.20, so yeah, we've got a bit of time to kill, actually, before it opens. Uh, well, I should have thought of that. I don't want to get down there. Well, I mean, that's the uh, that's the bar, isn't it? The tavern. You're new. Say hello to you. Lily. Um, yeah? Okay, well, we met her. Is that... Who's this? Butter. We met Butter already. These are just the... I was going to say goons. Goons not really the right word, but the ones who run these little stands. Um, oh, hello. Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Oh, I can buy stuff. I suppose it being a shop, that makes sense. Uh, 
cooking oil, cheese wheel. Okay, well I'm gonna buy stuff now because I don't feel like I'm, I, I want to save up for that bag, and I feel like this money is not really gonna go very far. You just stand there, do you? Yeah, what's quite cool about this game, if you didn't see my um, sort of early access series, is there's underwater sections you can go as well. There's, you can go down there and clean up pollution and get resources and stuff. It's all quite cool. Uh, I think the game will sort of introduce it to us at a, at a certain point. So we'll just we'll just let that happen naturally. I've come in here, this boat. I don't, I don't know why. Pot is hot. She must have just brewed the tea. So who, who, who lives here? I, I have no idea. But it's nine o'clock, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who lives here. I've just wandered in. Well, I think the I think the shop's probably opening now. But what's here? This is someone's house, if I had to guess. Looks like it. Well, oh, Charles's house is was Charles the doctor? Yeah, I guess so. It's, it's familiar. I think it's him. I think you're new as well. Let's uh, say a quick hello. Leah, you said you're a farmer, right? Mm, that explains the outfit. How cute. I don't think you do think it's cute. I think that's your posh house. What posh rubbish have you got? Oh, you got a candied tree seed. I'll lead out of your trash. I uh, need a bit of energy later. Furniture store. We don't really have a use for that yet. We need to visit the shop. And also the carpenters. I don't know what this is. Lab. Okay. Uh, I think the sh animal shelter. Oh, oh the doggies in there. Oh, that's cute. Hello, boy. I, I saw a little speech bubble. Bode looks happy today. Oh, lucky Bode. Alice. Is is that is that you, boring dad? Wow, I almost didn't recognise you in that get-up. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? Well, that would explain the outfit. I'm guessing I was probably here as like a child or something, and people vaguely remember me, but kind of not really. Um, oh, he's got a weird robot arm. My name's Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Oh, I'll meet the kids as well. Zoe, you're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. Not anymore. Shoot on sight. Hello, Mr. Boring Dad. Nice to meet you too. I'm Valentina. Hello, Valentina, and you are Archie. Are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? I mean, I can't zoom in, but yeah, I, I think we pretty much look like a farmer. Now, I'm going to have to look at the maps. I can't remember where the shop is. Is that it? Yeah, okay, it's down here. Still early, but this I could easily get lost and just spend the whole day wandering around. Oh, there's a little dog in the fountain! Taco's busy and can't talk, he's busy jumping in the fountain. <laughs> oh, I like all the cats and dogs running around town, that's cool. Oh. Hey, boring dad, I knew you'd eventually make your way here. I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of this store. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello, Boring Dad. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal, though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Uh... Anyway, before you get going, Boring Dad, your moving in was quite, uh, unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious, well, more like curious, to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Well, I've been doing that. I think, oh, I've met 28 out of 30, that's not bad. I think you might be new. Oh, Noah, I know I've met Noah. Uh, and I've already forgotten the voice I gave him. When it's not raining, I try to come here and watch the sunset. And you are... Eva. Oh, nice to meet you too. My name's Everest. Eva for short. Uh, so I might, might like 29 out of 30 now. Which isn't bad. 
Shop. Uh, yeah, we'll shop. I mean, I said I was going to save my money, but I think planting some more stuff would probably be good. So the turnips we already sowed are four days. So we've got a couple more days till we get any kind of crop coming out. Now, there was a mission to provide cauliflower, wasn't there? I wonder what the, kind of the best ratio for money is. Because these are 70 per seed, which is quite a lot. Or is these are half the price. Sure, why don't we do like, say... One, two, three, four. Ah. Okay, I was going to do a three by three plot of a couple of things, but um, obviously I'm, <laughs> I'm about two carrot seeds now. Um, so we'll just do one plot of potatoes then. With that in mind. He's got a little fancy pad back there. And we want to go to the carpenters, which I think was up here somewhere, wasn't it? Uh, we'll probably see their faces on the map. Uh, carpenter. Okay, can I set a waypoint? No. But we want to go past the town centre and museum and, and hang a left. Okay, I think I can do that. You might be new. No, I've spoken to you, haven't I? Okay, good. Oh, there's a lizard there now. <laughs> We're going to have to go in there at some point. I don't know if there's a way to to get in. I'll have to have a look around. It might be through the town hall. But I kind of want to make sure we get our house repaired and get going on that sort of stuff. Ooh, there's a mushroom. I think we can take that. Pink. A moral, so that will give us a bit of uh, energy and stuff as well. But I might sell it just to make a bit of cash. Right. Okay, well, Joko's down here. Can I just talk to him here? I hope we get some rain soon. I guess not. I guess not. Pay your house. Do we just do that from here? Uh, carpenter? Okay, this is new buildings, isn't it? Insect house? That looks pretty cool. Fish pond. Ah. I think, I think there's... Maybe more stuff going on than Stardew, but I, I don't really know if it's more stuff or just alternative stuff, but there's definitely different stuff happening. Anyway, house upgrade. Uh, okay, this is what we want to do. So fix up our house enables the ability to decorate. Good. Okay, well let's, let's do that. Awesome. Thank you. I'll get to work on it right away. Good. Okay. Joku, honey. Slight change of plans. Boring Dad's here with the building materials. Let's head over to the farm and repair Boring Dad's cabin. Wow, that's awesome, Boring Dad. Let's do it. Let's do it indeed. And then we can plant our seeds. Dinda and Joko are repairing your house. How are the house upgrades? More comfortable, right? Now move it and help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. Oh, okay. We got, we got a few basic items. Wardrobe, chest of drawers. Bit of tidying. A uh, rug. Okay. Apparently we're chilling out. Got a telly. It's probably going to be it, isn't it? What else do you really need, huh? The kitchen would be good. Phew, that old thing really was heavy. We're finished. What do you think, Boring Dad? Uh, how long's the warranty? Ah, for you, lifetime. Look, no more mouldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration... We have a furniture store in town. But since there are a fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know? Check it out, though. You might see something you like. If you want, we can go there, right? All right, that's enough. You'll scare the kid. 
Oh, sorry, Boring Dad. I got it too excited there. We love that store. Even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time, Boring Dad. It's in the middle of town. Shouldn't be hard to find. I've already found it. I've wandered past it several times already. All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, the TV! We threw in a free TV for you, Boring Dad, free of charge. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. It gets a good amount of channels too, like this weather. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, sometimes you gotta smack it a good, smack it good at a 60 degree, 60 degree angle like this. Blah. The channels are very useful, like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. I don't have a fishing rod yet. There are variety shows too. Love them. Some shows have useful tips if you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around, Boring Dad. See you, Boring Dad. Don't forget about the furniture store, all right? <laughs> They've got some kind of commerce empire going on on the island. Your house just got bigger. Home sweet home. Uh, change wardrobe? Yeah, so you can collect clothes and stuff. Obviously, I don't, I don't have any other outfits right now, but, you know, I'm sure we'll collect some over time. All right, so the first thing we want to do is lay down this uh, this next plot. I'm going to do a little three by three one for the taters. Uh, lay my there they are. Some water on. I don't know if I've got enough in the watering can for all of them, but we hopefully do. There we go. Okay, I'll just I'll just fill this up again while I'm near the uh, near the water source here, and I think we'll have a little go at scything this big pile of mess. Got some hay there, I think. Definitely save that for when we got animals. Some more wild seeds, might plant those today. Now I'm going to guess that things like this bigger rock, and if there's bigger stumps and logs and stuff, we probably can't do those until we've upgraded our. Um, equipment, I'm guessing. So let's have a quick go. Yeah, so we need to upgrade that before we can get rid of the big stuff. Still work on the little stuff, though. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. Let's go and dump some stuff. With the hay, the trash, fibres, that. Uh, keep the compost in there. I'll probably keep the... Mm, I'll keep the wooden stone on me for now, I think. Yeah. Just maybe take this tree down. Oh, that stump just to the right there. I'm guessing we can't do anything with that until we've upgraded the axe. This, I'm guessing we're going to bounce off. Boing. Yeah. Oh, so these are just loose, aren't they? Oh, we can side these little plants up.
Okay, we'll leave that for now. We can maybe sort of work right around into this area a little bit, sort of around where we've planted some stuff. I'll probably chop down the trees that are just kind of growing randomly and maybe at some point we'll plant like a little little forest area in a corner of the farm. I think that's what I'll do. I, mean, I don't know if it costs less energy to scythe the plants, it might just be the same, but we're a little bit out of puff already. It's starting to get dark, but it's, I suppose it's only half past five. Um, so anyway, well, let's uh, pop some of this stuff in. I'm going to sell the morals, I think. I'm going to plant these wild seeds. We have a couple of ones this shape. Yeah. Fifteen left. I'm hopefully hoping we can we can do this. Doesn't actually cost energy to plant. Does a little bit to water though. Starting to feel a bit woozy. Um, honestly, I think maybe we'll get a bed um, and start the new day. I mean, we could explore. I'm a little worried that I keep using tools for stuff and we'll just end up passing out somewhere in town. Um, but let's put some stuff in here that we're going to sell this evening. So I'm going to put in the morals. I'll do the tulips as well. I want to keep that and I'll put the compost in the in the storage here. Like so. All right, let's go to bed. Always uh, stick on the telly for a bit, see what see what's happening on the channels. Uh how to be a farmer. I want to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith, and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you, Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm going to tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn in 19, uh, 60, uh, 1961. I think that is in Roman numerals. <laughs> Water your crop every day. That's it. You get that down, chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. <laughs> But you don't need a water when it's raining, you hear? Fair it is. Uh, what's coral shopping? Welcome to coral shopping! Oven! With an oven you can bake cookies, pumpkin pies, and lots more. If savory treats are more to your taste, try a risotto. Available now at Socket and Pan for 3,600. Yeah, I mean, it's only 3,515 more than we've already got. Oopsie. I don't know what, what that said. Open journals, claim reward. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we have done a few objectives, so I think we can... Okay, yeah, so we get um, we get money for doing doing these things, I think. Yeah, okay, we've got some money for that. The new farmer, okay, I'm one townie off that. Uh, and we just need to harvest our first crop, which is still a couple of days off. I think it's going to rain tomorrow. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding areas. Weather forecast for tomorrow. Wet. Rainy. Mmm. Good. So no watering tomorrow, at least. Let's go to bed. So we'll see what we got for those mushrooms. I'm not expecting big things. Uh, so they were, what, about 30 each, probably? Those three things are stuck in there? Okay, we're making a bit of money. Half much we need for the bag. Um, but I think we'll leave it for there. We'll leave it there for now. So when we come back next time, we'll uh, maybe push on and explore the, the north part of the island up there. Um, seeing as we've got loads of energy and no need to water or nothing to plant. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode of Coral Island. I, I'm enjoying playing it. It's a very fun game to play. If I mean, if you've enjoyed things like Stardew or anything like that or... Animal Crossing, you know, that kind of thing. It's, um, yeah, very much along those lines and uh, uh, a good example of them as well, I think. It's currently on Game Pass, uh, which is where I'm playing it on, if you've got that. So, yeah, check it out. But um, if you enjoyed this video, as I hope you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be amazing. If you could leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the look of the game, if you've played it, if, you, if you're going to play it. Uh, that'd be good to hear. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be amazing if you could do that. So, thanks very much. And I hope to see you next time for more Coral Island. Bye for now.